Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a two-sided standard shader material in Unity 5. So in my case I'm going to show you what the effect I'm going to arc so achieve. So I have here a car and I have here some parts of this car which are going to be detached from the car. So for instance the hood is already detached from the car. And you can see that uh, from this point of view I can see my uh, shader, my material. But if I look from this side from this point of view I cannot see my material because it's one-sided material for now and uh, to fix this problem I have to change my material shader from standard to standard to sided and now you can see that I have here my problem fixed it so I have here material from this side and from this side and also here from this side and from this side and how to make it work so actually you have to go to a specific URL so it's website of unity and you have to go to this page uh, https unity.com get unity download archive and here you, ha you have a, a Dropbox menu, so here is a, uh, the most recent version of Unity 5.1.1 and here this uh, Dropbox, I mean not Dropbox, uh, drop down menu, so you, you click here and you select built in shaders, then you will download these shaders into a specific uh, download a directory of yours then you open this uh, uh, archive and you can see here uh, three, I mean four folders. So CG includes the folder sources, the folder sources extra editor. So you go to uh, folder default resources extra and you scroll down and you can see here the file standard.shader. You have to extract it into your assets folder, in my case assets shaders. And here we go, you have this file over here. But before you switch to Unity 5, please keep in mind that it has the same uh, name as you know standard shader. So you have to change your name of your uh, modified shader to something different. In my case, it's going to be standard to sided. And you have to add only two lines of code. Uh, so uh, this shader has two modes for forward lighting and for deferred lighting so it's over here, where is it? Mm, well, 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 it's somewhere over here so you have to add this line cool space off for for disabling uh, you know, cooling and here, cool off so it's line 58 and here is going to be line uh, 150 something so just add this line and save this then Unity 5 will compile this shader and you will be able to select this shader from this drop down menu here shader drop down menu so this is how it does work and yeah guys thanks for watching this video have a good time and bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye bye stop recording